everybody, my name is Nasha Noob, and welcome to the Stanley Perio, where I am in options right now. Um, I know it's kind of probably always really annoying, but I am going to check right now to make sure it's recording, because it's being finicky, um, with the not full screen mode, uh, there's bordered windowless, and, okay, so it is square anyways. Okay, maybe, yeah, I'll leave it this then, for this one, and I might, I might record it in borderless it's weird because it doesn't it's showing up with my full monitor but it's recording it as a square and as far as i know there's no reason why that should be a thing so i'm just i'm just a little confused but there's that's all i really know it'd be funny if you could hit we click begin the game there or something and then it would do it but anyways let's uh let's try this i haven't tried it all yet i i haven't the end is loading guys but I've seen a fair bit of Let's Plays, and I'm pretty excited to try this out and see what sort of endings I get, and see what sort of shenanigans I can get into, and see if I've already crashed the game because it's for some reason taking a really long time to load. What the heck game? Guys, I broke it already. Not even 30 seconds in. Not even, not even started and I've already broken it. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, fill in this time and talking about <laughs> things. I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Can I click? Is it just fucking with me? It was fucking with me. Because I know, like, how it starts. You're in the office and everything. I've seen enough Let's Plays, but this is taking a really weirdly t long time to load. I'm not too sure what's going on. And, and it's like, I could edit this out, but also... I don't really have time because I haven't had enough enough time to. This is the okay. story of a man named Stanley. <laughs> Yay! Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Employee number. I see the back of his head. This is exciting. Simple. He sat at his desk in room four two seven and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. In All room four two seven. a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push. Man, that would be so mundane. I'd probably go this crazy. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. And I probably... considered it so winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. <laughs> kind of seems like he might have been. Was happy. No. And then is he one happy? day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change. I remember watching the last play of this when it wasn't the forget. full game yet, too. When it was still just, uh, like the, the demo and everything. And it's just, all of it was so amazingly hilarious. To follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This it was a day off. Isolation. And they didn't realize it. very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, I can't wait Stanley found himself to unable go to move for the longest time. And but ignore everything the narrator says. Do what I want with my life. Up from his desk has and out of his anyone office. just done everything the narrator has told them to do? Like, that would be cute. Like, I don't know if anyone's done that before. Oops, I'm really fast. I can click on things, but they don't actually click on anything. I want a thing. Can I? No, I can't even interact with anything here. Hmm. Should I just... Oh, I know about, like, the broom closet ending. I know about a lot of different ones, but I still want to... No, guys, I need to get into this. Guys, I need to. All of his co-workers were gone. What Something... Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps no. He had simply Fucking open. Just, like, run into it. Just You see just some guy just running and splatting into the door over and over again. And then you just awkwardly walk no away. No matter how hard Stanley looked, There's nothing he in... couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. You can't see a trace of anything. I doubt the sun is that bright. Maybe they have, like, blinds on the outside. Because they want to keep... It's, like, somewhere really sunny. But they don't want the distractions of the outside world. So they put it there. And they also... That's just not a skylight. That's just a light. That light's not working. Or that one. Or that one. Or that one. It's Morse code, guys. Let's see. Let's try and figure this out. Uh... That many. Okay. I don't have this memorized, but I can do this. 
Okay, let's go! I ran into a wall. Fuck! Hey! There's a door! I need this door. No, this door's my friend, guys. That's another door that goes into the other door. There's another door that goes into that door, too. There's so many open doors and I want to see! This is sad! Wait, what the fuck? Was this where I came from? Oh, it's confusing. I think I'm already turned around, but I think this is the way to go. Alright, let's go! There's just a door. That goes up somewhere. And the music is kind of creepy, just like setting the tone. I want to be able to... No! Oh, okay. <laughs> no! I shut my only way of escape! But I like turning slowly. I like being really slow and trying to stand that apparently when my- Stanley came to No! Two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Let me out! Let me go back home to 427. Is it 427? I don't even remember anymore. <gasps> hey guys! Those are not the same at all. It's a conspiracy. Okay, let's just go. Let's do it. The narrator is probably pleasantly surprised that finally, finally Stanley listens for once. But little does he know. Hey, hey, is this the room? No, not this is not. Single person here either. Tips for not getting fired. Stanley decided to go up to oh. his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Synergize. Hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. Fire paper guy. Hire someone to fire the paper synergizing guy. Who moves my desk? Oh my goodness. Push for funding for our new, new coffee machine. Not cost efficient. Standalone graphics box line. The future was yesterday, tomorrow is now. Complete today's unfinished agenda. This is not exciting. Employees 417 to 405. No, that doesn't work. 491. Why are you. Oh. Oh. It's like those are the. And then Jim. Just Jim. He doesn't. He's not. He actually gets a name. Or he's so not special he has to use his own name and he doesn't have a special designated number. Technically. Technically. Are you fucking with me right now? Are you just... I don't know if I was just turning at just the right time where it was... I must have been. Okay. I'm just gonna leave now. I was gonna say, I'm technically in front of that... So You're a weird thing. No, I need to go back. No! I need to... Yes, I heard about people who just chill in the broom closet all day. But, you know, that's just, a, that's just the way. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, but I could go downstairs. But I could go downstairs. This is scary. I'm going to hide here. This is my life now. Now there's monsters. I'm in a horror game. This is where I'd hide. Maybe. I don't know. Do you think they would check that? I'll hide in here with the fire hose. It might not be very comfortable. I can't close the door if I don't want. But oh man, I'm a little bit freaked out. It. It's a little dark in here. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours. Yep. He might be fired for that. Exactly. In a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Yes. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe. What if you are crazy? Himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason Just at all. Just having an extended psychotic episode. Hey, is this the... No. And as Stanley I'm on a different this, floor. He began to make other strange observations. Yes. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? What? The doors close automatically behind him wherever he went. Because I'm psychic. For that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Yes, they were. Oh, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. 
and at last I'm stuck. came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Yay! This is all a dream. Yay! Oh, Fuck. Leaf, this is felt. awful. He finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. You just fell asleep at your desk, himself, though. So you're still probably going to lose your... I'll have to go back to my boring real hey, life job wait a minute. Buttons. We didn't go this far I last time. Well enjoy this while I'm still oh, did we? So, I don't remember where we start off now. Flying, is it getting longer? Began to gently float above the ground. Oh, fuck. No, wait a minute. Then oh, this is uncomfortable. Soaring through space Woo. on a magical star field. And Can it I? too appeared. It was so much fun. And oh, this is freaky. That he had still not broken up. Oh. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question nope, of the it's gone now. entered Stanley's head. It's fun just to listen to him. He hadn't asked himself sooner. Is there a monster Why chasing me? Run! In my head, dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking. What is this accent now even? Voice was describing but like people don't have by Stanley, who found it particularly Oh, strange. so mad. About a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. I think I we're just going to break Stanley's off. mind. I wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth you mean you course, don't? This was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his oh, life. Oh, whoops, that's not the way to go. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite oh, I'm a stuck. to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment I can't ago? walk backwards. I'm, I suck at that. All that. This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. How? So he closed he would kill himself? Gently, no, 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 no. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. No. The press of the mattress on his back. See how I always like wake myself up in dreams. Flying is my tell, so I'll be flying, and they'll be like, "Wait a minute, you can't do this in real life." And so then I start falling because I know you can't fly in real life. And then as I start falling, I start waking up too. I kind of like forcing myself out to reality. So then I ignore it and pretend that I'm not actually knowing that I'm trying to fall asleep. I trick it. And my job. Do you have a wife, Stanley? Exactly the way. I don't see a picture of her on your desk. And you have like My your own office. Normal. You could have decorated it as I well as you normal. wanted. You're not normal, Everything Stanley. Will be fine. But it's okay. I am okay. <laughs> I'm okay. Just curled up in a ball, just like rocking. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. Fuck. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. Oh, I God, everything's real. red. I'm going crazy. Who am I? Who am I? Am I going to die? Black. Oh, I'm going to cry. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not emotional. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place. Oh my fuck! But on this particular day, her <laughs> walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself. And he then dead on the sidewalk. just had a bit of a psychotic break. To go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. Man, what would you even do? Like, like, did he jump? What crazy people look like. And kill himself? And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I no, know you're not. Real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And no, it in a isn't. Way, seeing this man made her feel better. I don't feel better. And she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. I don't know why it's like she doing that weird blinking thing with those, so with that only a moment, one thing. She stood there, staring it just, down it, the it just is pulling me to it. <laughs> nope. Well, Mariella, why wouldn't you like call somebody and tell them that he's dead? 
I don't even know how to feel about myself right now. I killed Stanley. I'm a terrible person. Okay, onward! Man, that was a really short... All of his co-workers well, I guess they're all pretty short. What could it mean? Stanley decided uh, to go to the meeting room. Maybe Perhaps one more. Perhaps simply missed a memo. Okay. It's funny because, like, sometimes... When Stanley right. came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room. Clearly, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yes, I want to go over there. There's so many rooms. Let's no clip. No clip. Damn it! I was looking for no clip. Ah, <gasps> yes, truly There's drinks. Give me drinks. It had Give me. Really been oh, worth okay. the detour after all. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. It is pretty Stand beautifully. It's all blue. Here. Why is Indeed everything only. blue? Why is everything blue? It's blue because it's relaxing, or it's blue because it's sad, or like, why are all the lights off? Why is this room like this? Yes. These are the things. Really, really worth it being here in the room. It is. The room so the room. utterly captivating. It's the blue but room. Even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished. Here you sit looking at these You just like lay on the ground and you really like it. carpet angels. All right, let's move on. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Illusion of choice. Stanley oh, was so bad at following directions. Muffins. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> well, Clearly, I'm just having a mental breakdown, as evidenced by when I threw myself from the from the ceiling in some other multiple timeline. If you're lying right now, stop. What if I'm lying on the ground? Is that okay? Or lying in your bed? I'm sitting on a bed of sorts. Hey, what is this? Oh, that is not. I thought that was open because render ring rendering. Do we go that way? Do we go this way? Can I go? Do I kill myself if I? But if Ouch! Prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do. <laughs> Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Okay. Good job, Stanley. You can suicide. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> the condescension in his voice is palpable. I killed Stanley twice now. I'm a terrible person. Um, I think that might have to be the end of it, though. I know it's probably really short, but I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this. I, I, because I want to maybe do another one and then, um, couple, couple different endings, see where it goes, get some interesting endings, because, like, there's possibilities for lots of different things. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, could I, should I follow, follow what's his name and do everything he says for me to do? Or should I do nothing? Exact opposite of everything he says. Let's do that. Exact opposite of everything he says. In the next episode, uh, next episode though. So I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.